There's just something about this dark, sweet tobacco vanille style fragrance that I really, really, really enjoy. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here today. I wanted to do a little review on my three clones of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Now I just did a full testing of the original Herod and then I did a testing of the Herod clones. I only had two Herod clones, but I have three Tobacco Vanille clones and almost all the clone houses that I've come across, they're all really good. They're all really high quality. I do think Tobacco Vanille has a lot of spices put into it, which would make it a little bit harder to recreate. And I did rank these in order from worst to best, but I wanted to say that I really enjoyed every single copy of this fragrance. As soon as I switched up to wearing these, I was like, man, do I just really enjoy the tobacco vanille style smell. To me, it almost smells more inviting to spray than something like Dolce & Gabbana's The One. As much as I love The One, there's just something about this dark, sweet tobacco vanille style fragrance that I really, really, really enjoy. The original notes of tobacco vanille are tobacco leaf, spicy notes, vanilla, cacao, tonka bean, tobacco blossom, dried fruits, and woody notes. So very, very simple. Before I get into each description of them, they're all very, very, very good. But unfortunately, I have to put it in a top list. So I'm gonna have to go with number three is Dapper Fragrances, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. I sprayed the most of this one. Um, Dapper Fragrances samples here actually spray a ton. This one was number three just because it is a little bit more on the vanilla and a little bit less on the spice. Now this one and Central Obsessions both have a little bit of this powdery kind of vanilla vibe to them. I do find that Dapper Fragrances is the most on the vanilla and the most on that powdery vanilla. And I did find that the spices were more in the background, but overall embodies a lot of the same kind of smell. And I really, really did enjoy this one. The only reason that it's number three is because it is a little bit more on that soft powdery vanilla versus the battling of spice that I get in the regular tobacco vanille. Number two is Central Obsessions Tobacco Vanille. Now a little fun fact about Central Obsessions Tobacco Vanille, his first copy of this was a little bit more similar to Dapper Fragrances with that powdery vanilla in there. But I think he, that he added more clove to this. So the original Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille that he created is now called Vanilla Outlaw. And this one that is closer to it, it does smell more like the normal Tobacco Vanille. The only thing that I could take away from it, and again, I enjoyed all of these fragrances, but the only thing I could take away from it is it does have a little bit of that soft powdery vanilla in the background. And I don't know if it's the kind of vanilla that they're using or the battling of spices. I'm not really too sure. I just smell a little bit of this powdery vanilla that I don't really remember as much from the original Tobacco Vanille. Overall, I really, really, really did like this one. I do notice the additional spices versus something like Vanilla Outlaw, his old one. I enjoyed wearing this one a hair, a slight hair over this one just because I found that it had more spices to it. My favorite version of Tobacco Vanille Babylon Fragrances Legend. Now this one just feels absolutely maxed out on the spices. I do want to say that it smells probably about 90% similar to the original Tobacco Vanille. The original Tobacco Vanille has just really authentic tobacco. It smells more like the original to where it's like really spicy, but there is a little bit of vanilla, but you never get really too much vanilla. It's always fighting the spice. And if you could think how like mint pierces the air and kind of pierces your nostrils a little bit, I get a little bit of that with this because the spice is so strong. Again, it isn't 100% like tobacco vanille, but I do find that a lot of aspects to its blending are very similar. Babylon Fragrances gets their oils, I think from Dubai and Paris, so they get these really luxurious, really expensive oils. So Babylon Fragrances kind of have their own little smell to them. They use these really exotic imported oils, and this one does smell a little bit different because of that. However, I really, really do like it. Last time they sent me out some fragrances, they asked me to mention how good the sprayers were, but I have had really bad problems with the sprayers. As you can see, it's just not spraying. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's plenty in there and it won't spray. 
I don't really want, want to knock on Babylon fragrances. Hopefully they can explain to me why this is happening. I think they said, hey, we fixed our sprayers. A lot of the sprayers after they said that weren't really working. This has been about a year or so since I ordered from them. Maybe these uh, sprayers have been fixed. I just wanted to say that this is the full bottle and the sprayer isn't working. So all these fragrances do have some pros and cons, but I had to go with Babylon fragrances legend is having just a little bit of extra oomph. Do you like the tobacco Venice style DNA or do you like any tobacco Venice style clones? Should I try out some other ones? I really, really like this DNA and I liked all these fragrances when I wore them. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what your favorite tobacco of an e-clone is we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully i'm having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace